before we got back to where they'd been sleeping. And they'd spotted the buffalo with a calf. And the hunt was on. Cubs were left behind. We couldn't see too much, but we, as I say, we saw the stalk. And then, just to realise what was happening, we turned around <clears throat> and we had the buffalo run back across the road. Lionesses streaming across the road in front of us. And there was one line, because I counted, I knew there was four, and I counted three, and I didn't know where the fourth one was, and I was just worried that if she ran across in front of us, we might have a collision. So I had to uh, slow down a little bit. And then she did, she popped out of the bush, ran across the road. And I tried to keep up with them, and literally, just as we, we got to the, the, end, the other side of the fire break, that's where we saw them. They had actually, uh, one of the females had, had managed to get a grip very surreal it happens so quickly and yet other times we've watched you know it's hours very very surreal um and it's one of those that you, you watch on documentaries and you know a lot of people that when when they go on safari you ask them what what do you want to see they say oh no lions hunting i had that answer so many times but it's very rare you actually get a chance to see it and i think that's why we're, we're fascinated by it because it is it's it's nature in her extreme it's her, it's nature in the most probably one of the most powerful moments emotionally because obviously you know you've got this animal and it its life is being taken from it for the chance for another animal to live I and mean, it really is an emotional roller coaster. I mean, that's the only way you can really put it. But to actually see the power of these animals and to actually understand how they manage to 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 do this, I think we find absolutely fascinating because you don't see it very often. Horror watching something. Could be this giraffe on its own, could be there's other members of a herd that it's with somewhere off into the bush. Maybe that's what the impala are watching. What's up, ladies? There's only one or two watching while they're chewing the cud. Draft doesn't seem too bothered. Chip -chir. Who wanted to hear a woodland kingfisher? Liz. Liz, if you're watching Liz, there you go. They've really found their voice now. Okay. We had a really nice sighting of giraffe yesterday. I'm still keen to head back to those impala legs. See if we can bump into our favourite family. One of our favourite families. Our favourite leopard family.